I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. We are in the Raleigh Airport Ooh, right now. It's a different change of scenery. I know. We didn't even get time to record at the hotel this morning. We got up at 4.30 a.m. It's like 6 now. Wow. So we're getting some coffee and we're getting ready to start our legendary adventure on the Carnival Legend. And we're so, so excited to have you guys join we're us. We're going to Alaska. Look, Laura's back there too. Laura, what you doing here? <laughs> we left Ricky in charge of the bags while we went to go get He's coffee. He's gonna fly the drone in the airport. You better not <laughs> get my permission. drone confiscated, okay? So coffee time. Yes. But we're going. Fun. We're going on the legend. Woohoo! Come along with us. <laughs> Bye. So ironically enough, we're starting our morning here at Seattle, or at Starbucks, which is from Seattle. Spoilers, that's where we're flying today. Yeah. So we got about a day and a half in Seattle. Then we're gonna get on the legend. That's the plan, so. <laughs> you just woohoo. Look at that, proof that we're in Seattle right there. So we're doing some walking around. I think we're gonna head right down to Pike Place Market and go market some Pike Place stuff. We're gonna be doing a food tour here in a little while, but we'll go get the lay of the land before all that. Elephant Super Car Wash. <laughs> yes. Are you excited to be in Seattle or what? Yeah, it's so close to where I'm from. Walking backwards is not a good idea. Yeah, that's that's never a good idea. <laughs> Look, they have like a ghost museum, downtown spirits. Heck yeah. I want to go to the ghost museum. That's alcohol. Well, that it probably <laughs> helps. <laughs> so. What? I think that's a giant glass butt, but I'm not sure. There we go. First official Seattle Starbucks sighting. That was a lot of S's. It was. Seattle. I your authentic um, African accent because you spotted it. Oh, in the wild, like nature in coffee. We have found a place called the Purple Store, which Laura having a purple streak in her hair, we gotta come to the Purple Store. Who doesn't love purple? Okay, everything really is purple. Holy moly. Yes. Purple spin. Well, there's a little pink in the purple spin, but we can forgive that, right? I found my formal night apparel for the cruise. Mostly that. Whoop whoop. What is that? You found a turtle? What's that? Okay, that's the sound. How, how can you tell it's the purple noise that the purple one makes? I don't know. You just look at the color. Okay. They all go pop. That, that's true. You have a valid point. I do. Crikey, it's a crook. Crikey, look at all these animals. Oh, I love all these animals. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, I got it. <laughs> a bubble blowing bear. Now I've seen it all. All right, well, we've made it officially to Pike Place Market. You can see the great wheel, the market sign. We're in business. What have y'all found? Uh, well, They're kind of purple. <laughs> abandoned draws. Carl, that's for you. Abandoned draws for Carl. Got some more confirmed Starbucks action. Oh man. There is the Norwegian Joy. They're just chilling out. They're gonna be going to Alaska soon. The lady that sat next to us on the plane is gonna be on the Joy, she said. So bye, have fun in Alaska. We'll be seeing you somewhere. Actually, we're not in port with the joy at all this trip. There's some up close action of the joy and a gigantic totem pole. Yes. And something making some cool banging noises. Who is that guy? 
He's making banging noises down there. Stop it. So how's your Pike Police experience? We're just barely got here and walk around a little bit. It's good. It's Saturday, so it's a little crowded, Where which we kind of figured it would be. I know, it's weird. Like, I don't, I don't feel we, like we are. We woke up at, I guess, what would be considered 1.30 a.m. Seattle time, and here we are, feeling like it should be later in the day. Yeah. Crazy. Mm. We'll get used to it in a few days. Yeah. I don't know what that noise is. I'm still trying to figure that out. Something's happening Creepy. behind us. our way to the gum wall. Gotta get those gum selfies. It's a gum wall spin. This is a big wall. Of gum. A lot of gum. I had some, but then I ate lunch and spit it out. That was bad. I could have put it up here. You could have contributed. Of, like, history. Exactly. <laughs> Opportunity missed. We did not even talk about what we're no. doing yet. We got so tied up in the gum wall and the excitement of Seattle. We are on a food tour, a walking food tour of Pike Place Market with Savor Seattle. Savor Seattle. Savor Seattle. Sure. Savor Seattle. Savor Seattle. And we're so excited. So I'm excited. We get to walk to like, I think seven different places, yeah. try some samplings from around the market. And I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. So we'll let you know what we think of everything. So Heck come with yeah. us. It'll be an adventure. It will be. It will be an adventure. It will be an adventure. Adventure. Shall we tell you Sally for? Tell you Goodbye. Bye. People started disposing of their gum onto the outside wall of the theater. And all the while, the market theater did not ask for this. And uh, donuts have been in the market since 1909. Daily Dozen has been around since 1986. You're gonna eat your hand. I didn't know your hand was on this tasting. French fries. Truffle salt. Yeah. Do you do you have to lick my hand too? No, you lick. Okay. Use a lot. Don't salt your food. My hand is pretty delicious. That was good. It has a more garlicky, kind of buttery, more fragrant flavor profile. Black truffle salt tasting. Pistachio. 
It's mm. good. Put it all over my lips. <laughs> How uncool. Wow, I'd buy like five dirhams of that. <laughs> so we've got a few minutes. They're giving us the shop here at the Truffle Queen. How is your savor experience going? It's great. And the best thing about taking this tour is after it's done, they give you um, like 10% mm. off at pretty much almost, almost everything. Almost everybody. And the fish market and all so that stuff. So we're going to yeah. be back tomorrow with Avery and Rob and Ricky and Laura. And we'll probably uh, buy some stuff and taste some more things on our own. So we're having a great time. I know. We're learning history. Yes. Like history of the fish market. Really history cool. about like the tiles in the floor and Highly all sorts of stuff. It, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes to think about your own. Yeah. Plus we're, on a Saturday. we're here on a Saturday. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. A sunny Saturday. This is just kind of like the highlight of everything that's good. Yeah. I'm sure there's more that's good. But, um, I'm having everything. fun discovering stuff because I probably wouldn't have come in some of these stores if it hadn't been on the tour. So that's awesome. Do it. Do it. So we're about halfway done. We're going to go do the rest now. Okay. I have a problem. What? I ran out of chowder. I'm eating the number one bite in America according to Yelp. That's what they said. <laughs> I would almost agree. It's very good. Yelp. <laughs> Turds. I get cheese turds. Oh. <laughs> For some crab cake. Yes, it's very warm. Yeah, we're told it's very hot. Not gonna bite it right now, so uh, we'll get a review on that in a second. Oh, she's gonna try it. How is it? Yeah? Crabby? I eat all the time. Cakey? Messy? Oh, just when we thought we were done, she brought us dessert. It's a, a fleur de sel caramel. Oh my. Thank you. Thank you. It is made in Washington. There you can get the five free chocolate truffles with just showing your card. And also, um, that's where the John Boy Caramels came from. And you can also take a picture with a big salmon, a big frozen salmon in front of a backdrop. Um, but pass that, go be free. Go be free. <laughs> Where are we right now? Starbucks. What in the world, y'all? You have to. No, but you I'm not don't. Drinking coffee. This is really good. We are not at the first, or as we learned, fourth <laughs> Starbucks. We visited it. Yeah. It wasn't Stephanie first. explained to us that it was about the fourth incarnation of Starbucks it that we saw over on bike. But. The first one got burned down. Anyway, we're taking a little rest at yeah. Starbucks and we're going back to the hotel for a while. We We've done like five miles. a lot of walking <laughs> and a lot of eating and then a lot of walking. There's hills. Yeah, there's hills. <laughs> Terrible. Yes. That's, that's the best commercial for Seattle ever. There's walking and there's hills. I did 9,500 steps, 4.2 miles. It says I climbed eight floors though, so that's impressive. <laughs> you went down a Yeah, that's true. We have made it back to our home away from home. Whew. That has been an exciting day in Seattle so far. And that's probably most of it because we're gonna go back to the room. We're probably gonna order dinner in and crash. 
All right, so we are staying at the Holiday Inn Express City Center with a Space Needle view. We're doing something that we've never done before. We're staying in the same room as Ricky and Laura. What the heck? What has this channel become? Let's do a room tour, shall we? So from the door, we have a bathroom. Nice full bathroom with a tub toilet and things that you usually find in a bathroom. There's a little sink area, microwave, fridge, and some cabinets. What's in the cabinets? Whoa, paper towels and a, some kind of whistle. What is this? Is that a whistle? I don't know. Anyway, what are y'all doing out here? Everybody is worn out from walking. So this is where everybody sits. I hope y'all save me a seat. I guess this is my chair over here. Look, Game of Thrones TV. Work desk, TV. Ricky farted when he got off the couch. Gosh, Ricky. We got, look at what we have out our window, y'all. Space Needle. That is cool. So now, around the corner, we have, oh well, a bedroom with two beds. So we're gonna be real up close and personal in this room. But you know, another TV, another window. And you know what's out this window? Another space, whoop, there it is, another space needle. Look at that, we got two space needles for the price of one. And then out this side of this bedroom, we have another sink with, you know, stuff, and another bathroom. So two full bathrooms, two beds in the same room, sleeper sofa, it might be awkward, but hey. We are all about that thrifty life in Seattle, okay? Because this room was actually only, what, about 30 or $40 more than a room that slept two people, so. For a little upgrade, we crash in together now. Well, we're like family at this point. That's like Olive Garden. When you're here, you're like family. We're sharing now. Guess we're sharing now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Bye, we crashing. Oh no, I said I was tired. Yeah. Take a shot. Take a shot. Bye. <laughs>